All right, I'll fire up my webcam here so you can see the actual circuit in action as we run the code. And as I move the mouse by resizing this window, it's starting to shift on me. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this position to where it'll stay. There we go. All right. I'll minimize WebStorm here and then open up a new PowerShell session so that we can go ahead and execute our script using Node. I'll just go ahead and resize this so we can get these side by side so that you can see both of them in action here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and change directories after clearing our buffer here. We'll go into our demo directory and then into Arduino, Cylon.js, and then LED where our script file resides. Then we'll go ahead and execute our script now with Node. And now you can see we're missing a GPIO module, which allows us to interact with the pins on the Arduino. When we installed Cylon earlier, we just did the base install, which does not include the GPIO module. We'll go ahead and install that one, as well as the I2C module, because I know from experience that the GPIO module depends on that one being present as well. Okay, now that those modules are installed, we can go out to the Windows Explorer and see those in our demo folder. And there they are, GPIO and I2C. So we should be good to go now. So we'll go back on over to the shell of power here and try that script again out of our demo directory. And then we'll see in the status messages here that we have connection to the Arduino on COM3. And now it's working and you can see our red LED lit up there on the right hand side. And now we can kill this script using control C and we'll see the LED turn off there since there's nothing communicating with the Arduino anymore. And we'll switch back on over to WebStorm here to make this demo a little more interesting. Once the LED is on, we may want to turn it off at some point, so we'll put that command in an after block, which is Cylon's wrapper around the set timeout function that you are probably already familiar with. This function takes a time interval in milliseconds, so we'll slap 3000 in here, which equates to 3 seconds of course, as well as a callback function that is executed after the 3 seconds runs out. Inside this callback is where we will turn our LED off, so as you probably already suspected, we'll make a call to my.led.turnoff. And with that, let's go ahead and switch back on over to PowerShell here to run this updated version of our script. Let me get my camera back over here into view for you. And then we'll run this through Node, again, communicating on COM3. There's our light. And three seconds later, it goes off. Still pretty basic, but it gives you an idea as to how to turn an LED on and off, as well as one of the helper functions available through Cylon. Now I'm going to switch back on over to WebStorm here and point out a couple more helpers available when working with intervals. Instead of specifying 3000 milliseconds, we can wrap the number 3 with parentheses and throw a dot seconds call on it like so. Even though this requires more keystrokes, it does make the code a little more intentional and easier to read, so that it's obvious what the timeout interval is intended to be. There's an alias to the seconds function, and it's just second, singular, which I tend to use with the number 1 to make things grammatically correct. Now technically you can use any number with either function, like 3 second, but it just doesn't sound as good, so we'll leave seconds. Now there's one more notation you can also use to accomplish the same thing, and that's to remove the parentheses and place two dots or decimals between the number and the word seconds. Now I want to do a quick demo to show you that both notations return the exact same thing, which is what we originally had of 3000 milliseconds. So we'll punch in the second notation that I just described, and then we'll go back and punch in the first one here. All right, now we'll switch back on over to PowerShell here and run the same demo again with the added console logs here. And then you'll see after the working there, the two 3000 numbers displayed there in the log. Now you certainly don't have to use either notation, but I just wanted to point out that they are there for your convenience.